Well, it looks like it has been a crazy week for Pokemon fans. Pokemon Quest has just been released, and soon after that we got news about the latest Pokemon games to come to the Switch in November 2018. The leaks for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee have been confirmed. But who cares about all of that, when the beta for Pokemon Gold and Silver has been made available for the public, revealing Pokemon that have been hidden for over 20 years. Talk about news. I am sure that your Twitter timeline and YouTube feed is probably exploding with Switch news, but if you're an old timer like me, you were probably paying more attention to all the new information that was found in the 1997 beta. If you have not seen it, I'm leaving a link below so you can see all the Pokemon that did not make it to the final games or whose appearances were modified. I am just going to be covering the Pokemon that I found to be more fascinating and what does it mean to us after just being hidden for over 20 years. Starting with the fact that Leafin was already planned since then. There is a Pokemon within the realm known as Leafy, the early version of Leafeon that evolved using a Leaf Stone. Leafeon was not released until the 4th generation which makes me hope that some of the Pokemon that were not used in this beta might still have a chance to appear in future games. But now that they are available to the public, Game Freak might be reluctant to use them but who knows. Next is Giraffering, I'm sure many of you saw the beta pictures that we already had access to before where they show this Pokemon with two heads. It was meant to be a dark normal Pokemon, but what I find fascinating is the fact that it seems to have had a pre-evolution simply known as twins. There is almost no information about this Pokemon, other than the fact that it would evolve into Girafferig at level 29. But it does explain why all this time Girafferig's tail had a brain of its own. Maybe one day we'll know more info, enough to make a cool theory about it. On a previous video I talked about how I wanted Quillfish to have an evolution. Well, it seems like there was meant to be one, and for other Pokemon as well. They include a Ditto evolution, which is really weird that used a metal code, a Weeping Bill evolution that used a Poison Stone, which scares the crap out of me, an evolution for an old time favorite, Farfetch, that looks like El Zorro with some swag, a pincer evolution that would have given kids nightmares, and an early version of Licky Licky. There were tons of baby Pokemon, but I'm sure everyone's favorite is Baby Meowth. He's just freaking adorable. Many Pokemon were just completely unused, such as this ghost panda. But my favorite happens to be this Wolfman or Warwolf Pokemon that is just simply so cool. Also, before I forget, the sharp Pokemon with an anchor as his tail started making my gear spin on my head trying to make a connection to Delmice, which is one of the latest Pokemon introduced. There is just so much information to be interpreted and the purpose of this video was just to make you aware of it. So there are many other Pokemon I did not cover, so make sure to check the link below so you can see them on your own if you haven't already. And if you're like me, you're probably gonna start making connections to other games. With that said, I'm gonna continue my research and use all of this info to bring you guys future Pokemon theories. Thank you so much for watching and until next time Pokemon fans.